Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we're going to take a look at how automated bed leveling works for 3D printers using the 3D Touch V3 probe by GTEC. A lesson you learn very quickly in 3D printing is that the most important layer is the first layer. The quality of the first layer can often determine if your print will turn out perfect or end in a pile of spaghetti. A big factor in having a perfect first layer is making sure your bed is level or tram. If your bed is level, then your nozzle will be the same distance from the bed from corner to corner. When you're first getting started, it can be difficult to properly level your bed. In some printers, like my GTEC A10M here, it can be difficult to keep it level. Sometimes with a standard bed on the A10M, it was too grippy and I'd have to really apply force to scrape off the print. All that pushing on the bed can cause it to move and lose its level. This is where the 3D Touch probe comes in. The 3D Touch attaches to your printer's hot end, and it has a deployable probe arm that can extend past your nozzle. The printer can then use that probe to determine the distance between the bed and the nozzle. And, more importantly, your printer can use it to probe points of a grid on your bed, and use that to know exactly the topology of your bed. It can tell the high and the low spots of your bed, and then be able to correct for that in software by adjusting the nozzle up or down as it moves across the bed. Let's look at an example. Before installing the 3D Touch Probe, I had a pretty level bed. When I print this test pattern, which you can find a link to in the description, you can see that the lines have a consistent width across the entire print bed. That means the nozzle kept the same distance above the bed, and that means that the bed was trammed correctly. Now, I'll manually unlevel my bed by adjusting one corner down and the other corner up. When I print the test pattern again, you can see that the bottom left corner has thin lines that aren't well attached to the print bed, and that means that the nozzle was far above that corner. And looking at the bottom right corner, it doesn't have any lines at all. The nozzle was too close and couldn't extrude any plastic. These are key signs that the bed is not level. Now we can install the 3D Touch Probe and get the firmware set up. If you're interested in how to install it on this printer, the GTEC A10M, I'll have a follow-up video with those detailed instructions. But the installation is easy. It's just a few wires that replace your existing Z-axis end stop, and tell your firmware that you now have a probe and it will take care of the rest. Now when we home the printer, the hot end will move to the center and deploy the probe. It'll move down until the probe senses the bed, and then touch it a second time to get an accurate reading. Now when we run the bed leveling option, It'll probe a 3x3 grid on the print bed and save the results in its internal memory. Now it knows how your bed is warped and it will compensate when you print by moving the nozzle up and down. Normally, your firmware will also have a bed level fade height where it will slowly fade out the adjustments over the first 10 or so layers. So it only has to move the nozzle up and down at the beginning of the print, but afterwards it'll just print normally. If I send this M420 Marlin command to my printer, it returns the current bed level mesh it has in memory. Using this neat website by Lockster Space, I can copy and paste those values and it'll show just how out of level my bed is. As expected, the bottom left corner is about 0.3 millimeters lower than center, and the bottom right corner is about 0.4 millimeters higher for a total distance of about 0.8 millimeters. So let's go ahead and run the same bed level test prints this time after having probed at the bed. And you can see that it turned out perfectly. The extruded lines are now very consistent from corner to corner. That means the probe worked. It detected how the bed was warped and the printer compensated by moving the nozzle. Bed leveling is now a problem of the past thanks to the 3D Touch V3 probe. If you're having trouble maintaining your bed level, check to see if your printer's firmware can support a bed level probe and it can make your life easier. So thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something about automatic bed leveling using probes like the 3D Touch V3. If you want to learn more about the 3D Touch, you can find links to GTEC's website in the description below. And thank you to my patrons at patreon.com, whose support helps keep this channel going. If you'd like to help out and get early access to my videos, visit my Patreon link in the description. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.